the recording. I mean, to the video. <laughs> oh, anyways, so where were we at? Where were we at? We were making our keys. Alright, so it seems this is just a simple walk animation. We need two keys keys A and D, left and right. Great. Let's get started. Now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, a method. Now, this method will return a bitmap for purposes that you don't know. Great. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Great. Now, it creates integer in I. Because I feel like it. Also, let me not forget this. Uh, create a bitmap. An array of bitmaps. So, bitmap array uh, walk in frames. Yeah, I have very bad name in that diversity, so don't touch it. Anyways, oh, walk in frames. Walk in frames is equal to you bitmap. This thing over here, this. Walk one, then just name all your images. Walk two, walk three, walk uh, four, walk five, walk six. Great. Now, if I is less than walking, uh, as in walking. Frames of walking frames dot leg. Uh, why is this red? James don't like red. Show potential for this. Ah, uh, I don't have a type. Why are you red? Oh, yes, give me permission. Great. Great. Now, then. This thing over here, walk frame, is equal to walking. Oh my god. Walking frame and I. I plus plus. Else. I equal zero. L and return walk frame uh walk frame that make transparent dot uh, okay oh shit it's okay great okay let me show, let me show what happens why are you red walk in frames oh it's frames i see great now let me show what happens so when i is zero all right walk frame which is this over here will be Walk one because you know, uh, so zero, one, two, three, four, five. Great. So when I is zero, then walk frames will be walk one. When I is one, walk frames will be walk two. So, guys, what I recommend you do is you just do this instead of naming walk one, two, three, just name walk zero, then one, two, three. It helps, you, it helps you in the arrays, anyways. Uh, so yes, so I hope you get the point. When I is zero, walk in frames equal to one. When I is 5, walk in frame will go to 6. Basic stuff. Now, and then we're gonna return to walk, and then we're gonna return to walk frame. I guess what's important. Now, go down over here to key, oh wait, type in your timer the tick, type invalidate. I'll, I'll explain this later, guys. Invalidate. 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 Key down. Key down. Now, if E the key code now key code is when so here's the difference key code all right uh so when you when you use the key code if you the key code so let's use equal equal to q 
he's the Z. Now, this means that even if I'm pressing five keys, as long as I'm pressing Z, then so let me try this uh, in a sec. Uh, all right. So, what this means? What? Sorry. There it is. All right. So, what this means is that if it, it, as long as I'm pressing Z, right, whatever is in this code block happens. So, uh, do an explosion. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so as long as I'm pressing D, an, ex an explosion will happen. But key data, right? Key data means that only D must be pressed. So if I'm pressing five keys, then, and I, so if I'm pressing keys A, if I'm pressing keys A, S, D, F at the same time, then this, then no, no explosion will happen. But if, if this is key code, but if this is key code, and I'm pressing keys A, S, D, F, then the then the explosion will happen. Yeah. Anyways, so what I recommend you do is that you use key data, key data. If you just if you look, I mean if, if you're making a simple game, uh, key, key yeah, just like yeah, use key data. It's it's quite nice, and it can be inter and it can be interrupted by by key code events. Now let me show you, let me show you what I mean. So so let's say I have else else if either key code is equal to keys dot j now shoot uh walk so imagine you're walking right blah 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 if i if i also if i were to press d then i can walk you know i'm walking i'm walking i'm, I'm walking i'm walking i'm walking right but the moment i press j he you see the walking stops all right the walking will stop because it's key data all right what's that i mean so make your walking you walk you jump key key data so they cannot so people so people can't like do two two different actions at the same time so unless you want to like unless you want your character to like move and shoot then like yeah i think i'm thinking way out of topic but i hope you get the point anyways Either key, key, key like. it's pretty much, this is the same thing. I'm just doing it for the sake of it. Move like break walk. Ta-da! So guess what this does? It calls walk an animator. Walk, walk, animator. Remember, walk animator is this. It starts the timer. You're gonna start the timer. That's that's it. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, if walk and you know if walk timer that enabled is not equal to true, then walk animator this is just a redundancy so i just just in case I, I, don't, I don't want to start the timer twice so yeah so yeah whatever i'll be i'll be get the point i'm bad i am bad at explaining things sorry give me a second it's kind of some slack all right so that's about it now go over to our key up our key key up function just this is a simple copy and paste for this one control c control v Key code actually. This time, it's so for key up. Generally, you want to use key code. Then, still walk. Time to start. Uh, this is a redundancy. Now, give me a sec. Right. See? That's it. So when I let go of pressing D or A, 
I mean AOD. Then I stop the timer. All right, guys. Now the important part. So do this. If wall timer not enabled equal to true. Ta-da! What do we do? Do E is an event. E over here, as you can see. E. Then since it, since this has the paint form, it inherits the paint event arcs. You see that right there? The paint event arcs event handler gives you access to the graphics. Then in drawn image. Then uh, draw an image. Uh, then we're gonna call our frame of our method up here walk frame to draw. To draw now. Also, I forgot to mention you want to create a position. Uh, I recommend you use float or int or whatever you want to use, it's, it, it doesn't really matter. Float position x is equal to 20. Float float position y is equal to 200 great float position x position y now great let me show you so this should work I'm, oh wait, wait wait yeah this should work I think I hope this should work uh what anyways um guys just run your code i'm experiencing some technical difficulties here i have no idea what that means so i'm gonna restart my game my thing i'm gonna end the video here because i have no idea what just happened but anyways let me show you what happens so i'm gonna show what to do real quick what you want to do over here is you want to create position y position, position x plus or equal to 7 so this determines the speed so um, open uh, paints or uh, paints yeah this this is this is your guy so when you so every single time I call the function walk frame to draw um, increase the pixel increase position X by 7 pixels it's like this so, so um, that means my guy will be walking every seven pixels. Beep, 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 beep. Hope oh, you get the point. So every seven pixels. That's why my guy. That's that's where the next frame is drawn. Ta da, ta da, ta da, ta da. Great stuff, I guess. So, oh, okay. What else do you need? Um. Also, yes, yes. Um, facing direction. You want to create that. Now, this is very important. Facing direction. It's facing direction equal to one. So default. Great. Now, when I press D, that means I'm going right. Right. Is my, is my key code? Oh my god. Uh, there you go. So facing direction is equal to one. It's equal to one. Control C. Facing direction is equal to negative one. See? Yeah, that's how it works. Now that means if I press D and I'm going right, I'm, I'm, I'm my facing the direction is equal to one. If I press A, that means I'm going left. That means I'm going negative. Anyways, so I'm sure this is important because over here you're gonna do this. The facing oh I gotta give some facing direction is uh uh, blah, blah, blah. Yes, if facing direction is equal to 1. Alright, just copy this. Yeah. And that, that. Else. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, the heart is up. I'm gonna be sure to figure out. Yes, that's not important right now. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. In the end of the pack. Alright, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. I'm gonna solve my little problem here. Anyways, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Sorry for the sorry for the sorry for the, sorry for the long episode too.